Okay, ready to put in the RAM now, and <coughs> here's the RAM slots. One, two, three. They've got these locking things that pop back like that. Yeah. And you put the RAM in, and as the RAM goes in, it pushes down. These start to come in, and then you lock them down. Okay. So the RAM, here it is. Comes in a nice. Um, non-static bag. Now I've washed my hands and dried them really well and I've touched the central heating pipe if you look under the sink the water pipes if you look under the sink in your house you'll see somewhere there'll be an earth wire attached to it that's the mains earthing through the water pipe and that works good just touch the pipes you'll get earthed if there's anything. So here's our RAM it was cheap um, you know it's not like crucial or one of those that everyone says you have to use. I use, you know, non sort of uh, expensive RAM all the time and I've never had a problem with it, to be quite honest. You know, I mean, if you get errors, all right, fine, the RAM's faulty. Okay, so here's our RAM slots. We can open up slot one like that. Now, if you look, the RAM has got a notch and the slot has got a notch. You can't put the thing in the wrong way, it's got to go in. You see, how's my arm in the way? Damn. All right, anyway. It's got to go in that way, like that. So this slot here lines up with the slot on there. Okay, so we just lure it in. It's placed like that. Okay. So that it's. You know, I've got to use the other hand. It's going to get in the way of the screen. Right, we just lure it in. Like that, it's a, it's a, a comfortable grip. All right. And if you look down at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. You can see the pins aren't fully in. So what we do, lastly, is just bring up these levers, and you can see the ram's not quite in because the lever doesn't quite line up with that edge. So just push it down a little extra bit. There it goes clip. Right, that clips in, you can see. Let's move the case round. Is that visible? It's not, is it? This angle is terrible. Oh, that's a bit better. Right, there's the other side and you can see the clip's not quite lined up, so just push that in there. Okay, your ram's in. There's a bit of give to the board, but actually it's the it's the base metal of the case that's that's flexing, not the board. Okay? So there's the ram in place. Okay. Next thing, our power connector, that's the one, this big old bugger there, it's got a clip this side, yeah, there's, let's move that away, move it out of the way. that's the power connector there, you can see the, the latch for the clip there, you can't put it in the wrong way, Lower it down like that. So clip is on the side of the catch, and just gently push it in. Go on, you little sod! <laughs> I say gently, but up oh, there it goes. You heard the power thing click. So the latch is now clicked, clicked over. Yeah, and that's all in place. Okay. So ram, the cooler's fitted. Power on. Now, what else have we got to do? Well, we have to wire up the power switch for one thing. So, the next thing is all these little. Let's move all the power leads. Oops, that's the. Power. This is the power going to the on off switch, yeah? Well, it's not 240 volts. I mean, it's it's. The connector to switch the power supply on and off, but it has to obviously go all the way to the to the front switch. So let's look at all the little cables that we've got. All these little connecting cables—they're all multi-colour stranded, like this. Oops. I'll tell you what—it's a really good idea to buy some accessories when you're building. Um, little sticky 
feet with grips, you know, that you can stick to the inside of the case and they've got a little clamp and, you know, you can clamp the cables neatly out of the way. Otherwise you can use lumps of blue tack or even sticky tape. Just sticky tape can become a bit gunky. So, here's our little connectors. Power switch, hard disk LED, that means it flashes when the hard disk is doing something, you know, the little red one. The reset switch, the power LED, plus and minus, that's to show the power is on, and the speaker, that's for the PC speaker. Okay. Here, these are all your connectors. Okay. Now, the power LED there is really clearly marked with a huge legend saying power LED. So we can't really go along with that. So, oh, that's the speaker. Or is it? Power LED. Now, the good thing about these Gigabyte boards is... I can find it. Oh, this under there. Oh, they give you this... Zoom out. Zoom out. Gigabyte. They give you these enormous sheets. Oh, look at that. You know, it's big now. Yeah? And it shows you step by step if you're a, if you're a noob, you know, how to connect the, uh, how to put in your the CPU unit, putting on the cooler, shows you where to put the clips, putting in the DIM, the RAM, chassis introduction. <laughs> um, it's, okay, further down, how to take. It even shows you really stupid, simple things like how to take off the side panel of your PC. Installing a hard drive. Does it show you installing those things? Oh well. I'm going to have to um, have a look then. There's a book as well. That'll probably have it. Ah, here we are. There they are. I look. That's showing you where all the connectors go there for your speaker and everything. So just follow that, yeah? Okay, right. So let's wipe those in. There we got it. That's our hard disk activity. I'll tell you one thing. What's, look, it's a right pain in the arse. They're, they're not very long, these, to get all the way from the front, the way they're rooted. Um, from the, they come in from the top. And uh, look at the damn things. So that's not a very good... Uh, aspect of this particular case but I mean I didn't choose it so there you go right so well, well, what you can do with them I really don't know I suppose you can put them under the motherboard I can't be bothered to do that now so what you'd need really is to put a little clip here to hold them all yeah out of the way now what's next well that's everything we're ready to boot Apart from the graphics card, because you've got our graphics. Well, hey, let's zoom out. Cheap Radeon 9200, but I'll tell you what, man, uh, I got this in with this entire bundle uh, for 300 quid. 8 times AGP, pretty standard, 64 meg. I've got one of these already on another machine. It runs two screens. It, the, the machine it's in already, it's running um, two flat Sony Trinitron screens, 17 inch, on a system. And it works a bloody treat, you know? and it's good enough for games. I mean, 60, all right, you know, it's not ultra detail, but it's not bad at all, actually. Can we zoom out any further? So, here's what you get graphics card, flat <laughs> um, you know, and some other bits and bobs, and a stupid book and a set of drivers that will be completely out of date and no doubt some free applications. Win DVD! And some video phone I read. Right, so let's get that box out of the way. Let's open her up. There she blows. One graphics card. There you go. Oh yeah, you got um, S video out 
analog out digital out now sadly it does not come with an adapter but adapters are like you know three or four quid from the computer fair so you just buy an adapter stick it on there and you've got another analog screen s video out well i suppose you could feed it to your telly if you're desperate you can watch video uh, dvds that way but i couldn't guarantee how well it would work so there it is nothing now that's going to go in here to this that's going to go into the agp slot there okay and it's got this little this little locking pin so oops bring it up to the case like that line it up come on Billy pull back the pin push it in there she goes she's in lovely jubbly like that clips in place you can see that right now we go back to our screws we take one of these domed ones yeah put on the blue tack There she is, nice and solid. So we've got the graphics card in, the fans in, the connectors are connected, the RAM is in place. We're now ready for, to boot, and for that, we need a screen right. I'm going to turn the case the right way up now. 